Hello everyone, this is just a dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Roborock Q5 Pro robot vacuum cleaner. It's a combo unit. It has mopping and vacuuming at the same time. I did buy this with my own money. I bought it for about $240. There's a few things I like about it, but let's show you everything about it and I'll discuss it at the end. Okay, I really do like that it has LiDAR navigation. It's able to map your house and in the Roborock app, you can divide it up into rooms and you can put it on a schedule, have it clean certain rooms at certain times of the day or clean your whole house. And you can put no go zones. So here it is on the docking station right now. Now you will have to empty out the base. So you have to empty out the robot Dustbin once in a while. Removed. It doesn't have an auto empty base or anything. And there is a mopping pad attachment also here. It's got two clicks on the side. You're gonna put water right here and the mop pad, you're gonna have to clean that yourself, take it on and off, but it will mop your floor. It just drags it across your floor and there is no pump. So it's just got these little, these little valves. These little valves here, just take the water and let it drain out a little bit onto the mop pad. And again, after it's done mopping your floor, you're gonna have to slide it off this track and put it in the wash machine and clean it. And it just held on there with Velcro. The robot has one side brush, but it has dual brush rollers for vacuuming. That is actually pretty nice. Two drive wheels, this is where it charge. Fall off sensors here. And it does have a sensor here that can sense carpet, but it doesn't raise or lower the mop pad. The mop pad is, is fixed in one position, but it, in, it can increase suction on the robot if it senses carpet. And again, this just slides on and off real easy. You just press these little buttons on the side to get it off. Here's what it looks like when it's cleaning your floor. It can vacuum and mop at the same time. Okay, the Roborock app does a good job of mapping your house. You can divide up the different rooms. You can put invisible walls where it will not go past and you can put no go zones to keep it out of areas that it might get stuck in. We can also change the level of suction, balance, max, turbo. We even have max plus. Starting selective room cleaning. Okay, so let's have it clean my kitchen floor. I've got the mopping pad attachment on. So the floor is damp where it's mopping. We do have some dirt on the floor. We're going to see how it does. All right, that didn't do too bad of a job. I can have this do up to three passes. It did leave a little bit of a streak there. And again, it cannot lift that mop pad. So in order for it to avoid that rug, I'd have to, I would have to make that a no-go zone or make that a separate room in itself and take the mop pad off when I needed it to vacuum that only. So it does get a little bit of the muddy off, off the floor, but it's doing a good job of vacuuming. Now, once it does the perimeter of the room, it does go back and forth and make the straight lines. So as you can see, the mopping is mainly just for every day getting the dust off the floor and stuff. I mean, if I knew that there was muddy paw prints there, I could have it go over it three times. It does a good job of vacuuming. But, th but this type of mopping robot is meant for just everyday maintaining, not deep cleaning the floor. Okay, so it's all done cleaning and mopping. It's gonna come back to the dock. Charging. Okay, so it's all done. We've gotta empty out the dustbin. We're gonna take this. Removed. So you can see it did a good job of vacuuming. All right, let's take a look at the mop pad. 
yeah, it actually did a pretty good job of mopping. That was a pretty dirty floor. But I would have to take this off now and clean it myself. Now the dustbin doesn't have a lid you flip up. I would either have to empty everything out the, ho the hole that everything came in, or I could take the filter off. Once in a while you will have to clean this filter. It is reusable. You can wash it out and let it dry. But eventually you will have to replace it. Now it does come with this protective plastic that you're supposed to put on the floor because that mop pad will continue to leak water until you take it off. And you can have this just be a vacuum only robot. So when you got all your rooms that just need vacuum, take the mop pad off and just have it start vacuuming carpet. Okay, I've got a big mess in this room and I've took the mop pad off and I got it on maximum suction. So we're gonna see how it cleans up this room. Wow, it's doing a pretty good job. Now I'm having to do a spot clean. It's not doing the entire room. It's just doing a spot. It's not super loud either. All right, now it's going back and forth. Wow, that's actually doing a really good job. I've got a big mess on the floor. So this is an excellent vacuum cleaner. And the mopping's just for everyday mopping. Okay, let's see how it did. Dust bin removed. Wow. That did an excellent job. All right. Yeah, it might be easier to open this. Yeah. Yep, I'd say it did a pretty good job. All right, let's flip it over, see how the roller, yeah. The rollers did pretty good. Okay, so again, I, I bought this with my own money, $240 right now on Amazon. You know, it for everyday mopping, it doesn't do too bad of a job. If you don't mind doing a little bit of work yourself, like taking the mop pad on and off, putting this on and off, you know, putting the water in there yourself, it actually does a pretty good job. Now, the more expensive ones do a lot of this for you. They lift the mop pads. That base station can clean and dry this mop pad. It's They're different, but it can clean and dry them but it is like six or 700 bucks. So for 240, this isn't, this is actually a really good vacuum cleaner. Mopping, everyday mopping. Now, if I had this on three passes, it might've gotten it, but you can tell once this gets pretty dirty, then it's just gonna be smearing a bunch of dirt on the floor. And again, I will put a link to this underneath the show description notes. If you end up purchasing it using that link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. That way I can continue to do these reviews, give you my honest opinion. My honest opinion, $240, yeah. Actually a pretty good pretty good robot. Now, I'm having a few problem, issues with Roborock. Their app sometimes is finicky, but I do buy quite a few of the Roborocks, and they actually are really good robots. And the app, when it's working, you know, it, it is a really very, very capable app. Now, again, this one, it cannot sense anything too low to the ground. You know, if your dog has an accident, it is going to run it over. It does need to be about four inches tall for the LiDAR to hit it and then to avoid it or the bumper can, if the bumper can activate it, then it will turn okay. around. So I, I'm getting, I'm just unboxing this. This is the Narwhal Frio X Plus. It doesn't have a docking station, but I'm getting ready to review it. It looks pretty cool. So I will be comparing that Roborock to this one. So pretty, pretty cool. I'm excited about that. So for about $100, well, between $100 and $80 cheaper, you can get a Tycom that has LiDAR, has a mopping pad, has a dust bin, you know, so it doesn't have the dual brush rollers. I think the, the Roborock might be a little bit better vacuum, but boy, if you're looking, and the Tycom actually has a really good app that maps your house, no-go zones, so it, it's kind of a new brand. I haven't 
I don't know it really well, but I have reviewed it. They got a couple. This is the 9,000, then they got the 8,000. And they retail for around 150, 160 bucks. Now, one I don't recommend, this is the Essentials. This is brand new iRobot Essentials. It does not have LiDAR navigation. It does not map your house. You cannot put no-go zones. It's 250, sometimes 200 bucks. This is definitely a no-go. Now, the Eureka E10S that comes in white or black, normally around $400. Prime, they had it on sale for 300. That's an excellent with self-emptying base. It can lift its mop pad up and down, which is kind of nice. So again, thanks everybody so much. I love what I do. Typically, most of the time, I buy these products with my own money. Once in a while, I do get something sent to me for free and I disclose that. But I want to give you the most honest review that I can. You know, recently, Ninja did send me the Ninja Slushy and I was able to actually give an honest review because that thing's absolutely amazing. So if it wasn't, I might have been hesitant on saying, oh, you know, is it this good? Is it that good? I typically want, so I want to buy the products with my own money. With that one, I was able to make an exception and, and it, it's just an extremely good product. It's the brand new Ninja Slushy. Again, Ninja did send it to me for free, but honestly, I was able to give it an outstanding review because it, it's, a, it's, it's a product Ninja makes products that brings families together. Ninja makes products. Ninja makes products that create memories. So you're you can have so much fun with friends and family with these type of products. Outside, we've got the Ninja. That's the pizza oven. Everybody can make their own pizza. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. I'm on Facebook. I'm on two places in Facebook. Facebook, I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. I do free giveaways there. I'm also on Instagram and on TikTok, having some fun over there. So you can kind of see behind the scenes if you, we show Miss Fiona and different things. So just having a lot of fun. Again, if you click on the links, the products won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. Again, it is a way of supporting my channel. I try to buy, I'm gonna, from here on, I'm gonna try to buy 95, 98% of the products. Um, I'm still working out a relationship possibly with Shark and Ninja where they might be sending me some stuff for free, but I'm kind of working that out. I'm, I'm still going to give you my honest, honest opinion. And, and what has happened in the past is sometimes I do get a product sent to me for free, but I'm like, okay, that's going to be a free giveaway. I'm actually going to buy it again with my own money. And that way I can do the review with my own money. And, but then I can give the product away. I can still give my own opinion. And so I just really, really do appreciate everybody's support. Even uh, Shark said they don't mind if I, you know, if I give an honest review on their product and maybe the things I'm saying about it, they might be able to fix in the future or something. So they do appreciate my honest reviews. This is just super tricky and new for me. I, I you know, I've not done anything like this. So, but I'm really, really starting. I want to resonate with a brand of honest reviews and that's the way I can buy it with my own money. And I can tell you, would I spend this actual amount of money on this product? And I can tell you that. Um, and I'm not beholden to anybody sending me an email or any manufacturer. Now, again, I am going to have some relationships, I think, in the future with a couple companies. And I don't know how that's going to work out yet. And if I find it being a problem, I may not do it. So, But I do have to figure that out. And it's, it's just going to take some work. I'm doing a lot of research right now. But again, 95% of these products are products I'm going to buy. And you'd be, you'd be surprised at the products I send back. And I'll, I'll tell you that in the video. I'll be like, nope, this is going, there's been, I've sent probably five or six really expensive robot vacuum cleaners back because I'm like, no, that's my money. And I, I want it back. This robot is not performing the way I, that they said it was going to perform. So again, I just really do appreciate everybody's support. I have an Amazon storefront underneath. If you're thinking of purchasing some of these products and you, even if it's something like I do air fryers, I do robots, I, do, I did a bunch of coffee makers. I'm not doing as many now, but I'm doing the new ones that come out. But if you're thinking of purchasing a product on Amazon, go to my storefront and you can search. So on my storefront, there's a little search tab. You can search my videos on Amazon. And that way it'll bring up, I usually do on Amazon, I'll do a comparison with another top selling product on Amazon. And then I'll do like a unboxing, which shows you the dimensions kind of just what you're getting, not much of a review. And then I'll actually do a review. I may do three reasons to buy. I may do a detailed review. Sometimes those videos can get pretty long. So if you're thinking of buying a different product, there is a search function on the Amazon storefront. And I have lots and lots of videos over there. 
So I really would really, now again, if you click on that video on Amazon and you end up watching that video for 30 seconds, I think I forget what it is, but if you end up watching that video for a little bit and you end up purchasing the product, I will get a small commission on that also. So that is a way of helping support my channel. Either clicking on the link below the YouTube channel in the description or going to my Amazon storefront and watching the videos. That is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I could not be doing this without that support. I really, really do appreciate everybody's support. I love what I do. I'm gonna continue doing it. I'm working at this. I've got a lot of manufacturers contacting me, wanting me, wanting to send free products. I've said no to a lot of them, but I want to work. I wanna have some relationships with some of the really big ones, and I'm trying to figure that out. I, I just don't know what that's gonna look like right now. Again, there's been some bigger ones reached out to me, and that's exciting. You know, that's that's kind of what I've dreamed for. You know, I I, I want to work with these manufacturers. You know, and I but I also want to be honest, and that the main thing is to be honest for you as the viewer. That's where I will always come from. As should you buy this, and I, half my videos are like you've already bought it. Here's how to use it. So. I got a ton of videos just how to use it. And then I've got a bunch, about 20% are like how to fix it. And then another 20% are like how to clean it. So lots and lots of videos. My, my opinion, and I get this a lot also, is my opinion on videos. They're like, why don't you say this is really, really bad? Well, I will if it is. But a lot of times they just work differently than I want it to work. And so I don't necessarily say it's bad. I'm like, this is how it works. I prefer this way, but this, because what I've run in the past where I've, I've called something really bad, I'll get a comment and somebody says, that's the actual option I need and I love it for that. So then I'm like, oh yeah, that, that's right. Th this option that this coffee maker has or this uh, robot has may be the perfect option that you need. I don't need it. And that for that reason, I'm not gonna say it's bad, it, never buy it. A lot of times you'll see me just saying, these are how they work. Now. I hope that helps. That's what I'm, I'm trying to help as much as I can. So again, appreciate this. This is going to be my. This is going to be the commercial at the end of the videos. I will always try to keep that there. I know people. The number one comment are like, "Thank you for getting to the point." So the, all the commentary is at the end. You don't have to listen to it here at the end, but I will keep the the kind of the meat and potatoes of the video, I will keep that at the beginning. And I know I sometimes videos get too long. This one's probably gonna be extremely long, but I will keep my commentaries always at the end. And um, I really would appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the like and subscribe and the follow on those other platforms, I really, really would appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Somebody knows I'm making chicken nuggets today. Miss Fiona, you'll get some, don't worry. I gotta cook them first, okay?